What is up guys, Jay Strott here with my review of Jelly Bean 4.2.1. I just recently upgraded to 4.2 on my Nexus 7 and I've been on 4.1 still uh, for quite a while because I was using custom ROMs and I just hadn't updated. But now that I have and I've had a few days to play around with it, uh, I'm going to do a little review on it and try to hit on some of the noticeable changes that I've seen. And I'm going to try to keep this video short and to the point. And my first uh, impressions of it is that it's really awesome. I think they made a lot of really great changes. And so let's go through the, some of those now. First thing, here on the lock screen, if you notice, the clock right here has a different, uh, like a definitely a different layout. It's got this bolded seven right here on the first digit. Uh, different font, I believe, and different sized. And also, one really noticeable thing about the lock screen is, are these cards right here. Right here, this is a calendar and this is my clock and you can hold these rearrange them you can add new ones like your email which is, this is I think just really really cool uh, feature that they added to it um, also you're gonna notice uh, this is your unlocking is still the same right here but this little button down here what looks like a button is your swipe for opening Google now so they've moved that down there uh, on the inside, what you'll notice is the the dock right here. Each icon is a little bit smaller than uh, the actual app size, uh, which you know frees up some space on the home screen, makes it a little more uh, easy to look at. I guess is a way of putting it. Also, um, if you the the taskbar appears a little bit different, icons are a little bit smaller, and at the top right, if you pull down. It's gonna give you a quick uh, menu to different settings like your brightness. You can adjust brightness now from here. And you know, uh, you can also get directly into the settings from here. If you pull down from the top left, that will bring down your notification bar, which used to just be wherever you pulled down. And it's now in the top left only. I don't have any notifications now, but also one thing they changed, if you press your, if you open up your task manager, the tasks are now centered as you can see there, if I open it up another one, just to show you, it's now in the center before it used to be off here to the side, now it's centered. Also one really cool thing that I like, if you pull down your settings, make sure you have auto rotate on enabled. Check this out. Rotating, it actually rotates now. It also will rotate on the lock screen which is something that is really cool because I used to, that's why I basically would always install a custom ROM was just for the rotating because I really liked it to rotate. So really good improvement there. And a, a more subtle change that they added was if you notice when you dim the screen, when you lock the screen, it sort of fades out, if you can tell. Um, I know there are definitely more changes than just what I'm showing here, but these are some of the really noticeable ones when you first start using it and hopefully this will help you uh, better navigate 4.2.1. All right, see you guys.